Good morning and welcome to Leadership Monday in the Locker Room. Coach Ack here, ready to roll up our sleeves and dive in. Today's message is arrival sickness. People have a wide range of definitions for a leader. To some, the leader simply gives orders because of their position. Others say a leader doesn't need a position at all, but just has to influence people. The most successful leaders attract others to their mission. The best in the business create an environment that attracts other leaders. One of the defining moments of a leader's career is reaching a certain level of influence or a certain position. Too often, leaders hit this arbitrary finish line and suddenly feel that their leadership journey is complete. They can relax and everything will be smooth sailing from there. I call this arrival sickness. Much like jet lag, arrival sickness hits when our mind thinks we're in a certain place, but we're not. Think about conversations you've had or heard before. When I get that position, I'll have it made. Or I can't wait to get to the corner office. Unfortunately, many people immediately stop doing what made them so successful when they achieve that position. Their feet go up on the desk, they breathe a sigh of relief, and they wait for the riches to just fall from the sky. I think we both know that ain't gonna happen. How can we combat this natural tendency as leaders? For me, the simplest way has been to constantly model the behavior that I expect from my team. How many bosses have you had where their theme was, take that hill, I'll be here at my desk, let me know how it goes. You know, usually relationships and motivation in those situations disappear quickly. As leaders, we need to recognize that being out front is often the most inspiring thing for a team to see. They will fight harder and fight harder for you when you are willing to get messy with them. Your people need to know you will go to bat for them when those chips are down, not just hand out instructions. They also need to know that you've done what you're asking them to do at a really high level. That's what gives them confidence in their own growth and development. So you must also keep growing. What happens when a car hits a wall? That's right, nothing good. If a leader reaches a certain level and then stops growing themselves, the team stagnates and then starts to fall apart. If you want to grow as a leader, you need to keep growing yourself. Never lose touch with what got you where you are or you'll get hit with a rival sickness. Do this and you'll be living your best leadership life. Thanks for joining me in the locker room, guys. Make it an amazing day. If you've enjoyed and feel the Daily Locker Room has served as an inspiration in your life, why not share it with a friend by sending them the daily message? 